when you paint, you should always take into consideration the extremes. You need vibrance, shadow, texture, but most of all, the painting has to have a lot of contradictions on it. If everything was all the same, it would be very boring. So in my my work, the way I paint, I like to create a lot of tension with paint, texture, and light. I don't really care about the laws of nature or physics. It is what about it is what my dream looks like. So in a way that painting is a fantasy, a creation. It is to express something beautiful. I don't really care about being like a Audubon reproduction, but it's not my interest. It is just to express creation my creation. The color black. Now just how important is this color? It is one of the most critical part of, parts of your painting because without using black there is no way you can make your colors play with each other or even the, the parts of the painting, even the fish Without black, it would be impossible to differentiate surfaces and a three-dimensional finish. Black is your anchor. It does everything for your painting. Too much of it and it's, it renders itself useless. You use just enough and it brings life to your painting. Black is not the absence of color. It is just the impression that you are trying to give for stronger colors. To me, black is the anchor of all colors. I like painting in this style, this wet and wet technique using resist and uh, pure silk. I like flowing colors and I, one thing I like about painting in, in silk is the lack of control that you have. I like the paints to talk for themselves. It is just like life, it's very dangerous. You never know what you're going to end up with. Painting to me has to be almost as if you're not really thinking about, in fact you don't think about what you're doing. You just feel the whole process. Because if you're thinking about what you want, in a way, you're going to end up making old paint, old art. Because it's been done already. Then what is the point of painting? You're creating something that has not existed before. You will just stumble upon new techniques and it has nothing to do with you are looking for them. It just happens. If you're looking for something new, you will not find it anyway. It has to come to you. Look at how the brown immediately pulls your eye into the painting. Now, just a little bit of black and it intensifies this pull even more. This black hair is not shadow. It represents textures that happen in nature, organisms, uh, decay, growth. The, the piece is not just about creating light, it's about showing life. You know, life is something that is unpredictable. I never enjoy anything that's predictable, especially art. If, if, I, if I feel you are too cautious or too careful or too too much worried about the outcome. It's sort of uninteresting to watch that process. 
someone painting like that. But when you paint new and fresh, there's a danger, there's an excitement. And this is what I'm trying to create with my art. Out of all that chaos, something very beautiful arrives. I'm not too concerned about failing or failure. Now sometimes a little speck falls out, you just water that down a bit. You know, silk is a dangerous process. You know, paint splashes everywhere. It's not your control, it has nothing to do with your skill. It just happens. And if you're lucky, it doesn't ruin the painting. I like using an impressionistic style when I paint because it just gives you so much flavor. And I like working with uh, dabs and dots of paint. When you look at the surface of the painting and the finish, you will notice that they're all blurring into each other. Well, this is because uh, I don't want to have something that is so accurate. I want your mind to see something. I want you to play with the painting. I don't care about uh, trying to make a photograph. Photographs are great. They are photographs in themselves, but paintings should reflect the painter's uh, qualities. It has to reflect your mood, your love of life, how exciting you are. Um, it is a very difficult thing to do to paint in your style. And the reason I'm saying this is um, it takes a lot of guts to trust something that uh, doesn't really exist. I mean, what is a style? It is just the way you do something. And I think if you paint with a great feeling in, inside of yourself, and you don't really worry about the outcome. Eventually, your real style does come out and will shine. If you go on searching for expressing yourself in what you think is your style, I don't think it will ever come. It will be very contrived. I don't like things that are overplanned and thought of and because that's boring. Have you ever watched a movie and the plot is so predictable that you just can't finish the movie. That happens to me a lot. So I'm very selective on what, what I watch on television. Not that I watch a lot of TV, but when I do, um, it has to be something exciting and new, something funny, something that uses my imagination. Well, you see those dots? That's where you use your imagination. You can imagine them, the, you know, that this is some, what you think, you, you see what you think you are seeing. I'm not telling you what to see. You are seeing it on yourself. And as this dries, it'll become something totally different from what it looks like when it's wet. You can paint for many, many years. And one day, you just do something silly and something outstanding comes out of it. This has happened to me a few times. And this technique of using texture was one of them. I find that you can have uh, very simple lines of resist. And what counts the most is what you do inside of those lines, how you paint, how you bleed and texturize and use the contrast of light and dark and opposing colors and complementary colors. All of those things make for a fantastic expression.